You may recognize this. It is a spring. Yes, good for you. But did you know that springs can defy gravity? Whoa. Gravity de defy. Gravity defy. Gravity de Look at it fly. Defying. Okay, not exactly, but what if I was to hold the spring like this and let it go? What'll happen? It'll fall, yes, it'll fall, that is that is true. But while it's falling, what happens to this end? Does it stay in one place? Does it go up or does it go down? Let's find out. I'll bring this in so you can really see it. Okay, ready? Watch close. Did you see? Did you, no? Okay, tell you what. We'll watch it again, this time in slow motion. See? The bottom doesn't move, and here's why. When the top of the spring is released, gravity and the tension of the spring are pulling on it. The bottom of the spring is being pulled down by gravity and up by the tension of the spring. These forces cancel out, stopping the bottom of the spring from falling until the top reaches it. Until there's no more tension, and then the top passes the bottom and the whole thing falls. That is how it works. But here is the real question. Will it happen differently with a longer spring? Huh? Well, I just happen to have a longer spring! Let's max it out! Bring it. Don't tangle it. So, now that I'm up high on this fire escape, let's test it out. Okay, three, Two, one, go! A longer spring still has the same forces working on it. The tension of the spring pulling it up and gravity pulling it down. No matter what size of spring, these forces cancel out for the bottom of the spring until the top meets up with it. So there you go, an almost gravity-defying spring! <laughs> uh, hey, there's no door handle on this door. I guess I have to take the stairs. Whoa.